Breast cancer survivors are dancing to make a difference for breast cancer patients in treatment. Now this event is called Dancing with the Survivors and this is the fifth year that it's been put on by the host organization, the Pink Fund. And here to talk all about this wonderful event and the organization is Molly McDonald, the founder of the Pink Fund. We've had you on many times yes. and, and watched uh, this organization grow from an idea that you came up with because you yourself, while you were fighting breast cancer, found yourself you know, flat broke, right? I was broke, my house was in foreclosure, I had to bargain to keep my car, and I ended up standing in line at a local food bank to feed my family. So during that time, I was looking at the spectrum of breast cancer services available from early detection and awareness to research for the ultimate cure, and there was this huge gap. How do we support women financially while they're in treatment, and when they've lost their job and their wages? Sure, and treatment for a lot of breast cancer might last how long? So it can be as little as six months, it can be as long as 18 to 24 months. Wow. And you know, combination of radiation, chemo, that kind of thing, even surgery, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so for those who are working, many of them might not be able to work during those long stretches of time. The challenge is whether you are affected by the treatment. So whether you have a, some of the toxic side effects from chemotherapy, which include neuropathy, fatigue, chemo brain, rashes, uh, digestive issues, that you really can't perform your job. And when that happens, if you work for a company of 50 or more, then you have access to the Family Medical Leave Act, but that's without pay. So the challenge for patients is not only the cost of treatment and some of the co-pays and the co-insurance, it's that lost income. Talk about the survey that you just did. So we recently did a survey with 1,000 women nationwide to discover a little more about the financial impact. And what we learned is that um, we had 572 respondents in less than three days, which was amazing. But what we learned is that 41% of women are skipping treatment or not filling prescriptions because, because they're worried of cost. about finances. Mm -hmm. Wow. And 36% of these women cannot return to their previous employer. So for the Pink Fund, our longer term problem that we want to really address and show impact is how do we help them rebuild that financial health? Excellent. And people can help the Pink Fund by going with Dancing with the Survivors. And that event is coming up. Uh, where can people buy tickets? Just go to our website, thepinkfund.org, click on events, it's right there. And the survey, the nationwide survey is on the homepage. Excellent, so there's the information on your screen. It's Thursday, October the 5th, next week from 6.30 to 10.30 at the Shriners Silver Garden Events Center there on Southfield Road in Southfield. And again, the money supports breast cancer patients here in Michigan. Right, it's this our is money, important because our you're money nationwide. Right. But this event supports those in Michigan right. only. We have a money raise here, stays here policy. So it all goes here for Michigan. You've done fabulous work, Molly. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Keep up the great mm -hmm. work. And hopefully this event does wonderfully well.